case of a university, it's not only the external uh, attacks that we are uh, facing, but also internally because it's a group of uh, students who are into engineering and so on. So they try to, not in the wrong sense, but in the right sense also, they try to learn a lot of things and sometimes their learning process may, could become a cyber security threat for the assets that we are hosting for them. Uh, so, um, and also in the education field, you can't keep everything closed. It has to be open because as, as a students, as researchers, need to find out a lot of things and so they need to do they need to it has to be open also sometimes so uh, so these are some of the challenges in, in, in terms of the universe i think there's uh, there is awareness at all levels uh, whether it is at the topmost management level or at the middle level or even the in our case even the users they are aware of these uh, uh, issues uh, but it depends on, I think, the, the technology team within the organization to uh, to put it at the right spot and then uh, make the top management aware of this of the risks that uh, the organization is facing in terms of cybersecurity and get their support in implementing some of these services that will uh, mitigate the risks that we are running. Sonic Wall, we have been in, associated with Sonic Wall for a number of years. It's not that whether we get it or not, but I think Sonic Wall is responsive to most of our require, uh, requirements. And it is actually a journey, so it doesn't uh, you know stop. So it has to be uh, as cybersecurity goes. You know, it's always evolving. There's a lot of uh, I mean changes that happen from with internally for us, and then. So how well can Sonic World respond to it is more key to our success. Unified is definitely good, but sometimes you may not be able to unify everything because you may have some legacy systems already running in your, in your organization. But uh, if somebody can come up with uh, a unified solution, then that's always welcome. When we talk about a partner, it's a partner who will, uh, who is aware of what is happening outside. Educate us, point number one. Two, respond to our requirements, uh, what we have learned from within our organization and what are things we need and be responsive to that, uh, those requirements and then work as a partner. That's what we would look from any, I mean, whoever is offering those services. Sorry. That's right. Uh, nobody can give you everything. Nobody should. I mean, I mean, you know, because everybody will have their own uh, strengths and weaknesses, maybe. So, as a user, uh, we need to identify the right solution for our requirements because that's more important. What we require, and then identify the right resources and try to integrate, uh, bring these part. I mean, bring these products together, or partners, or developers together, and then make them talk to each other, uh, integrate them and then create the best solution which will, um, uh, which will uh, fulfill our requirements within our organization.